In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the brand new Buddy Boss Icon Pack. In Buddy Boss 2.0, we've updated the icon set that comes included in Buddy Boss Platform and included in Buddy Boss Theme to be visually consistent with the icon style that's used in Buddy Boss App. This will come as a welcome addition for many of you who may have been using mismatch icons when you couldn't quite find the right icon that you were looking for. Now, not only will the icons themselves look better, sharper, more modern and contemporary, but your layout and styling will appear more consistent when using a single comprehensive icon set. As well as this, we've added multiple icon styles to each icon, so you'll be able to choose from aligned or filled icon style. And you can also change the icon shape to boxed or to rounded. We've also added many new icons to the icon pack bring the total number to 489 icons at the time of this video, with each icon having six variations. As requested by customers, we've added many more brands into the icon pack. We've also added icons to represent popular currencies, including Bitcoin and crypto, and popular global currencies. So now, let me show you how to use these icons in the Buddy Boss theme. And then after that, I'll quickly explain how developers can take advantage of this new icon set in their custom code. Here I am in the WordPress admin at Appearance Menus. And right now I am editing the Buddy Panel menu, which is used for adding menus and icons into the Buddy Panel in the theme. Let's go ahead and edit this Profile menu. I'll click here to change the icon and I can filter by category and let's switch the icon to this one and then you'll see that we've got some new icon options available to us. I can set the icon style to filled which you can see in our preview and I can change the box style. I'll switch it to boxed. I could also change the icon size but I'll leave this one at the default size. And let's click Select Icon. And you can see the preview in our menu. And let's see how that looks on the front end. So I'll click on Save Menu. And then we'll go ahead and refresh the site. And just like that, we now have our new icon using the Filled and Box style. These new icon picker options are now available to you for any menu set in the Buddy Panel or in the header. You can still use the older 1.0 icon set also in your menus if you're upgrading from Theme 1.0 and you want to continue using the icons that you had configured previously in your menus. If I go to edit this icon again, I can go here and click on this Manage tab. And from here we can enable other icon sets for the menus including the Buddy Boss Legacy 1.0 icon pack. So let's click this to enable that icon pack. So now if I try to edit this icon again, we have the ability to go in here and switch to the older icon pack, and then we can use the older icons in our menus. So that's how you use the icons in the menus. So now let me show you how to use the new 2.0 icon pack in your child theme from a custom development perspective. Here on the Buddy Boss Resources site, you can go into Developers and then Font Cheat Sheet to get to this page. And from here you can access this helpful cheat sheet showing you all of the icons that are available to use in your code. We call this a font cheat sheet because technically all of these icons load in your theme as a font family, which is how most modern icon packs work on the web. So if I go into the Chrome Inspector, and navigate to this icon. You can see this is the markup that you would use to call this icon in your HTML. You'll use the I element and then add these CSS classes into it. This first class references the icon itself and the second class references the icon style. Right now this says BB icon L, which means this is aligned icon. 
If I switch the icon to filled, you can see it becomes BB icon F, the F standing for filled. If I switch it to boxed and filled, it becomes BB icon BF, box filled. And I can go to rounded and filled, BB icon RF, or rounded and lined, BB icon RL. And lastly, I can go to boxed and lined, and I get BB icon BL. So this is one way to define which icon you're using, is to reference the correct class in your HTML markup. But you can also do this through font weight. This is useful if you want to modify the icon style without having to change the markup in the HTML at all. For example, you might want to change the style of one of the icons in your parent theme. So as an example, let's say I wanted to change the style of this camera icon. It would be difficult to do that through the HTML markup since this is coming from a theme template. So let's do it via CSS. We'll open the Chrome inspector and I'll select the camera icon. And then let's play with the font weight for this icon. So I could set it to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, or 600. So you can see with font weight alone, we can view all six icon variations. So in your child theme CSS file, you could target any specific icon from the theme and just change its font weight to the one that matches the style that you're going for. As I'm sure you can see, we've put a lot of work into this icon pack to provide you with a really beautiful and modern icon set and with tons of options for how you can use it in your theme.